My grass obviously needs to be cut, but it's a lot more fun playing with shortcuts. So I thought I'd come out here to check on the weather and luckily for me, it's starting to rain. So I guess I'll have to cut the grass in the morning. I thought I'd come out here and take a selfie of myself to use in the intro to this video about putting your blood pressure into the health app if you don't have a you know blood pressure cuff that's connected to the health app. Let me do that selfie real quick. By the way, of course, I've got a shortcut for that. It's called Picture Me. Picture Me. Woo, look at that sky, man. Of course, when I do get around to cutting the grass, I'll be sure and use my Apple Watch activity shortcut so I can listen to some tunes and get my workout in. Let's go do that shortcut. Hi everyone, my name is John and I make videos about how these little devices we carry around with us every day can be even more powerful. A little homework, so let's go to settings and let's scroll all the way down here to apps and let's see if we can find health. Here we go. Click on there and let's go to data access and devices and let's go to shortcut and let's make sure that we allow shortcuts to write our systolic and diastolic blood pressure and also read it. And then once we have that, let's go over to Siri and let's make sure that Siri has access to our health data. Okay, so now we're ready to build that shortcut. So let's go to shortcuts and I've already made a folder that I call EDC utilities. And let's go ahead and make a new one. I like to name something that's easy for Siri to understand because I'd like to call this one from Siri. So let's name it, Write My Blood Pressure. And then we can choose an icon if we like, and the color I like to make, the ones that I call from Siri, gray. So we'll do that. And then let's add an action. I always like to add a couple of comments one to just explain what the shortcut is, and then let's duplicate this comment, and then one for any homework that we might need to add, like the permissions. And then our first action after those comments would be to go ahead and dismiss Siri, which I happen to have right here. I believe it's one of my favorites. I'll click on the information and we can see that it's pinned. That's what they call favorites in iOS 18. And since it's opened, it's in the list and we have just added it. Then the next thing we want to do is just dictate text, which I don't have. So let's search for that. There it is. We just tap on that and we set it up to stop listening after a short pause. And then that will be how we get our systolic count. And let's go ahead and duplicate it. And the next one will be how we get our diastolic count. And it should be set up the same since we duplicated it. Okay, so now that we have had a way to get our systolic and diastolic in there, all we have to do is record those into our health application. So let's go ahead and look for it. Health. There's one that says log health samples. That sounds right. Here we go. So what type are we going to log? Well, we're going to log our blood pressure, starting out with our systolic and then our diastolic. So it wants sample values for the systolic and diastolic. Our first dictated text is our systolic. So how do we pick that? Well, let's just tap and hold on this and we use the select variable feature and we go up here to our first dictated text. And when we use select variable, they call it a magic variable. It shows us the output of each one of our actions. So we can see that this is our first dictated text. We're going to choose that output and that's our systolic. And we'll do the same with our diastolic. Click and hold select variable. And now we'll select the second one. And that's all there is to this. We can also add the date if we want. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'll just use this variable selection bar here to scroll over and find the current date. And then let's see if we can't format that. Let's use a short date and the medium time format. And the reason to do that 
is to give us our hours, minutes, and our seconds. There we are. Let's go ahead and run it. See if it works. 120. 80. Looks like it worked. So what if we wanted to add a way to open our health app? So we could actually see that it's written our data in there. How about if we waited a second to give the shortcut a chance to go ahead and log? So let's use an action called wait. There it is. You can wait one second and then let's add an action to open the app. And it's this one right here. We can make sure it's the one by clicking on the information to see that we have the right shortcut. So let's add that and then go for the app. Let's go down and find health. Let's do it this time from Siri. Write my blood pressure. 121, 81. And we can just see that it's updated. Oh, I got a noise notification, I think from when I was cutting the grass earlier because I actually did have to go out and cut the grass this morning. Please consider subscribing and staying tuned for our Apple Watch Activities shortcut. Thanks. And as a bonus for staying to the end, here's that little Picture Me shortcut. I hope you like it. And if you like this video, please, of course, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Oh man, that was a lot of yard work. So I think I'll take a little swim to cool off and use this video for the closing wrap. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one and bye for now.